Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to DIY Tuesday. Today, we're going to be making some travel essentials from our Essential Life book. So just to give you guys a heads up really quickly, um, because in the spirit of traveling and the holiday season and everybody's going to visit family and whatnot, we are going to be doing a sale today and tomorrow. These wonderful clutch bags, all of them, are going to be 10% off. So they're usually about $18.99 and the price for the next two days is $17.10. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of that while supplies last. We are super excited about today. Um, just to let you guys know really quickly, we do have our Oktoberfest monthly customer appreciation party happening this Thursday. So if you haven't already, go into our events and sign up and attend because it's going to be a blast, you guys. We're really excited. There are going to be fun games and giveaways and you guys know we have the best parties ever and they're super fun. So make sure that you're going to that and we will see you guys then for that. Um, so let's get started on this these recipes. So the first one we're going to do is actually not a book. I mean, sorry, not a recipe from the essential life book. It's actually a recipe that I've used for a couple of emergency situations because I seem to always forget my toothpaste when I travel. I don't know what it is. I always forget my toothpaste. So this is a really easy way without having to go buy like a whole thing of toothpaste to just make a simple DIY toothpaste that doesn't taste super awesome, but it gets the job done. So what I did is I took about a quarter of a cup of baking soda and what I'm going to do is I have peppermint essential oil. Now you can either do on guard or peppermint. You could do a mix of both. You could do kind of any oil you want to, but these two are kind of going to get the job done basically. So I really like peppermint and I would love to have like a minty fake toothpaste. So I'm just going to go ahead and put about three drops of peppermint in this little container. This is one of our heavy wall jars that we have on our website. So make sure you check those out because they're really great for just anything, not just these, but they do close really well. They're super tight and so they won't let anything leak out, which is really nice. So I have this quarter of cup of baking soda. Now I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of water just to make a little bit of a paste. And I'm just going to use my finger to mix it because nobody's going to be using this. But anyways, um, so just mix it around and eventually you'll get a paste. And if you need to, you can add more water. This is a pretty good consistency though. Um, and just dip your toothbrush in there and go to work. And it does give you a really nice clean feeling after you're done. You do have to rinse a little bit just because of the... Um, the baking soda does get a little bit gritty in your mouth, so you will have to rinse a little bit, but it's a really good on the go cleaner just in case, you know, whatever. And it is a little bit more compact than a tube of toothpaste. Now for our second recipe, we are going to be making a sanitizing spray because everybody knows there's like a million people in an airport or train station or whatever every day and it gets a little gross. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a super quick, easy sanitizing spray that takes about two seconds to make. So I have this adorable one ounce spray bottle and I'm just going to fill most of the way up with water. We'll see if this works. I have a little funnel for non drip edge purposes. It didn't really help, but that's just because I'm messy. And then I'm going to take about four to six drops of Bon Guard essential oil. And I'm just going to drop this in here. and you're good to go. All you have to do is screw on that cap and shake before you use it every time. And it's the perfect sanitizing spray. You can even use it on your hands as a little hand sanitizer. And it works great. And it smells good too. So there's really not a downside to using it. And it's not full of harsh chemicals and it's not gonna dry out your hands in any way. And it'll keep everything clean and de-germed. So that is our second recipe. For those of you who are just joining us, please make sure that you know we are doing our sale today on these clutch bags. They are normally $18.99, but today and tomorrow they will be $17.10. So head on over to our website and check those out. They're called clutch bags and you can find them in the bag section of our website. Um, just to let all of you know again, we are having our Oktoberfest on Thursday. 
and it's going to be so much fun, you guys. For those of you who haven't attended any of our monthly parties before, you guys have to come. It is a blast. We do those online and in store. So if you're close to one of our three locations, either Salt Lake, City Creek, Pleasant Grove, Utah, or Mesa, Arizona, you can attend these events in person. If you're online, totally okay. All you have to be doing is be attending the Facebook event and you'll get notifications every time we post. So make sure that you're signing up for that because it's going to be amazing and we are really excited for that. So our last recipe is going to be a really easy mouthwash. Now, traveling gets hard and this is just a quick on the go mouthwash again. Um, really good for any traveler because all you need is a little disposable cup some water and some peppermint oil, which is amazing. So I am going to just drop a little bit of this water in here, just enough for a mouthful or whatnot. And I'm gonna put two drops of pepper, actually I'm gonna do one because this stuff is really strong. So just gonna do one drop of peppermint. And then all you have to do is chug it, knock it back and swish for a couple minutes and then spit and rinse and you're good to go. Um, these are really good travel recipes, again, for anybody who's just quick on the go, anybody who forgets their toothpaste, hand sanitizer, or whatnot. These are great alternatives for all of those. So make sure that you are attending our Oktoberfest event once again. It is this Thursday, and we're really excited for that. And don't forget, we are having a sale on these clutch bags today and tomorrow only. They're 10% off. And thank you guys so much for joining us for DIY Tuesday, and we will see you on Friday.